Over this way. Right behind you. Hey, it's the enforcer and rebel leader outside. Who is it? I want to be too. Is he killing them? I'm not sure what they're doing. Hey, Billy, go back to your room now. friend. I did my job. The Enforcer! Oh, that settles it. I'm doing it now. Wait! Wait! What did you do, Norman? I just did what the Enforcer would have done. Have you forgotten how she inspired us? She didn't distill the shoe or mop. I guess she didn't distill any forgotlings, now I think about it. Stop being such a painted. That distiller has driven you mad with power. Excuse me. That walkie-talkie got what he deserved. Quiet! What do you think about this walkie-talkie business? You could influence it, you know. I think I have an idea. I can revive that walkie-talkie if you want me to. Well, maybe that's not such a great idea now I think about it. She can't revive him. The Arca doesn't work that way. It does now. If that's true, maybe we shouldn't revive him. After all, he did distill one of our own. I'll revive him no matter what you say. Nobody should really be wielding this power over life. Chief Inspector Magnum has gone mad. He's detaining just about everyone he meets, ever since he heard the enforcers switch sides. Jump! I don't think I can make that jump! Come on, Anne. You can do it. Just aim for my hand. About that, isn't it about time you explain the details? The plan is, we jump down there and I distill you. What? We pretend that I went undercover to catch you. And to prove that I'm really on Banku's side, I distill you in front of everyone. I was distilled once and that's more than enough. Let's just pretend that- Magnum needs to see me distill you. He has no clue that I can bring you back now. I'll revive you as soon as we're on board the train to the tower. You promise? I trusted you with my life once, didn't I? What do you want me to do? We jump down in front of everyone, and I say something like... Mr. Fig! I finally found you! Prepare to be distilled! And you say... Stay your hand! The darkness of your archer shall never reach my soul! Long live the freedom fighters! <laughs> yes, exactly! I knew you had an actor in you! That was perfect! Really? You think so? Absolutely! Then I distill you, bring you on the train, and revive you. Alright, let's get to it. 
Someone's up there. Blum bum. Enforcer was on an undercover mission for Bonku and never was on my side after all. She sure fooled me. Yes, I was undercover and no one expected. So, this is how it ends. The terminus of my life has arrived, taking the form of an adolescent damsel. Observe. How the Lady of Anima prepares my inescapable doom! Pig, what are you doing? I have arrived at my day's cataclysmic conclusion. Be quiet! I shall now... Oh, if only you knew what I have seen with these. My eyes. What I have felt with these. My hands. What I have smelled with these. My nostrils. Never again shall I perceive any sensation of the- No, you shall not! Because I'm distilling you now! What will be after the Anima Sectami? What will I become? To which- <laughs> I knew it! I knew you'd never switch sides! This was your plan! I told you, didn't I tell you? What a plan. What a scheme. What a talent. Bravo, Enforcer. Thank you. It's good to be back. <laughs> Something not right. You're right. We have to celebrate. No need. Everything is fine the way it is. The rebel leader was finally caught by me, the Enforcer. Let me just get him on the train to the tower, and you can all go about your business. Yes, let's get on the train. Plum bum, seal, fig, and box. Yes, seal in that no good wooden trader and get him on the train. Just a moment. Endorser have not worried at all. We can trust Plum bum with this, Madam Endorser. Uh, Madam Enforcer. Allow me to escort you. I never imagined that my first time in the VIP lounge would be in your company, Madam Enforcer. Such an honor. It's over here. Carriage, isn't it? Master Bunku had it made for his trips into town. Doesn't get any better than this. I can't remember the last time I felt this calm. No rebel can reach us here. You sure can't. You said no rebel could reach us here, right? That's right. We're completely safe. What, with you here and me, of course. And me? Suppose a rebel did strike. What would you do? Well, I would hurry out of this lounge and conduct a good old search and destroy with Amp. See. Ah, this 
been the victory. You sure showed those puny rebels who's boss. Yes, I certainly did. The rebels are cunning, I admit that. But our very own eye in the sky proved to be more cunning by far. I didn't do it alone. We were a team, remember? No. Do you know that my work is... that I have to be a part of this historic days? Thank you. Well, why don't we move into the... Imagine that rebel leader. Lifeless in a dark box like the thing he is. Let's go inside. I can't tell you how great it feels to finally get rid of these pesky rebels. I bet you planned this all that morning when rebels broke into your house. But before that, even. The rebels! They're attacking! Em! We gotta get downstairs! Get them! Catch them! Steal them! One of us should stay with you, Madam Enforcer. Who do you prefer? Me or Amp? You, Chief Inspector Magnum, of course! Well, you heard her, Amp. Get a move on you, lousy bullhorn! Yes, sir! You gotta do everything yourself. Madam Enforcer, please, just take a seat. I'll deal with this. Deputy? Yes, it's just me. What's wrong? I'm trapped, but I'm alright. I'll get you out later. I have to look for the rebels. Out of here! Is that you, big trunk? Yes, it's me. Mind my voice. Get me out. Well, I have good news and bad news. Of course you do. The good news is that you're alive again. That part of the plan worked perfectly. One. The, the bad news is that Magnum, Amp, and that big brute Plumbum are on the train with us. Never mind. T Man and Vic can solve that. Just let me out. Well, that's the bad news, isn't it? Plumbum put a huge cargo box on top of you. It's too big for me to move. You're gonna leave me in this box? Once we reach the station, I'll get you out. I promise. Then why did you revive me now? You could have just waited. Oh. I didn't think of that. I can just distill you again. Wait a moment. No, no. Wait, wait, two times is twice too many. Just do what you have to do. See you soon, Fig. Please don't forget about me. Want the rebels, madam? Yes, I caught them. You did? Wow, amazing job once again, madam enforcer. Where are those nasty rebels? That's a perfectly valid question, Chief Inspector Magnum. Thank you very much. Well, what did you do with those dirty rebels? I threw them off the train. Yes. Whoosh! Off they went! Oh, madam. You truly are one of a kind. They had it coming. Here we are, Tower Ground Station. Let's unload that jack and ape in a box.
Welcome to Tower Ground Station. I need to get to the tower as soon as- I'm the Station Master now, and I don't have to take orders from you. Don't you recognize the Great Enforcer? Oh, is that so? Master Bunku personally informed me that your Great Enforcer aided the Rebels in their attack on the plant. Oh, whatever it was, I'm sure it was part of a cover story. She destroyed the entire plant! You really want me to believe that? You think the Enforcer would have lied to me this whole time? Taking advantage of my professional admiration of her? We have a witness and mirror documentation placing the Enforcer at the scene at what turned out to be the most serious rebel attack in realm history! Ooh. I'm sure the Enforcer can explain. Well, it's clear that... The problem here is... In fact, the explanation is straightforward. How can I trust anything you say, Secti? No one officially appointed you Station Master. But after Pax was gone, I assumed... How dare you question my loyalty to Master Banku! Well, uh... Officer Magnum, please escort Secti to the Central Station and question him, so we can uncover the source of his betrayal. I'll make sure you receive a promotion. A promotion? But I'm already Chief Inspector. I'm sure we can find a title better fitting for your stunning talent and wit. That would be a dream come true, Madam Enforcer. I'll question Secti right away. You've always been my most trusted officer. Thank you, Madam. Right away, Madam. We'll get to the bottom of this. Come along, Secti. But, Madam Enforcer. Quiet. out there. The tower is off limits. It's me, Tiffany. Anne? Hey, Tip. Would you open the gate, please? Anne? Master Bonku locked himself in his tower. I tried to call him on the mirror, but something cut the transmission. I don't know what to believe. First, I heard you went over to the Rebels' side. Then I heard it was all an undercover mission. I've known you my whole life, Anne. You owe me the truth. Which is it? I'm with you, Tiffany. Like I've always been. Please open the gate. I don't know what to believe anymore, Anne. Tiffany, you only need to believe one thing. I distilled the rebel leader. It was a forgotling named Fig. The resistance is finished. Don't do this to me, Anne. My orders come from Master Bonku. I'm not... I... Hey, wait, don't! Hello there. Tiffany, is it? Open the gate, please, or I'm afraid I'll have to shorten that cord of yours. How could you do this to me? You were the one who betrayed me. Tiffany, you've trusted me in the past. Trust me now. I know what I'm doing. I feel sad for you, Anne. Don't try to manipulate me. That's it then. Bye, Anne. Leave me alone.
I used to come here every day. It seems darker now. I've known Tiffany my whole life. Sometimes you just grow apart. That's no reason to give up on a friend. You didn't give up on me. Madam Enforcer! Pavel! What are you still doing here? You told me to keep up the good work, so I did. Who's the posing doll? He's a friend. Pavel, I really think you should go home. Oh, I'm not quitting now. I've gotten so far. Well, then keep up the good work, if you enjoy it. Oh, I do, madam, very much. I'll be finished soon. See you around. Let's hope so. ahead. Let me take care of this. No, that didn't do it. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Finally, I get to see your home. No lights? Banku must have cut the flow from his anima reserve. Well, this is nice. Great view, good closet space, and what? Three floors. And a balcony. Huh, impressive. I'm not crazy about the neighborhood, though. There's... there's a distilled forgotling here. I know. It's Dilly. I knew him. He broke in. I had to make a choice. I know. It's all right. Sir, what happened? Mr. Fig, what are you doing here? Oh, I, I mean, who are you? I don't know you. I'm a welder at the workshop. Relax, Dilly. It's a long story, but the point is Anne is on our side now. She brought you back. Who? How? We're making our way into the tower to talk Bonku out of escalating this conflict further. You're going for the secret entrance like we planned? Yes. Right. What can I do? Bulb and his cohorts will arrive as soon as we've disabled the security systems. Help them get through here. You can count on me. Dilly, I'm sorry for what I put you through. Don't mention it. We all do better when we know better.
haven't been here for years. Which way do we go? Up. Up it is. This is the core chamber. Banku taught me how to use the Arca to operate the service lifts. I used to play here. Uh, not exactly a safe playground. Banku didn't know, of course. It didn't used to be this cold in here. Looks different, too. The lifts will take us to Banku's private rooms. Before I got my own place, this is where I used to live. From there we can access the control room and turn off the security system so Bulb can get in. What if Banku won't listen to reason? Then he'll turn on the ether bridge. But he'll listen. I know he will. But I'm afraid I may have to face him alone. In Banku's eyes, you'll always be the one who turned me against him. Whatever you need, Anne. Let's talk about something. Uh, I can't think of anything. Did you really work at the plant? I actually designed parts of it. Back then, I thought it would be a power plant producing anima from crystals. And when you found out what it was? I knew I had to stop it. Not just the plant, Banku as well. I explained my thoughts to Rin, the supervisor of the plant, remember? How could I forget? We were pretty close back then. She ratted me out before I knew it. I was stripped of my validation sticker and had to escape the plant, chest over heels. Then what? I found a place on the ground, and a few like-minded forgotten. Bob wanted your honor, but I was sure you'd join our side once you saw what you saw. That was risky. It worked, didn't it? I guess we'll...
This was my home. Where's Bonku? Not here. He'll be at the atrium at the very top, with his ether bridge. Pretty photo. I'd stand on that balcony every night, close my eyes, and feel the rain on my face. I had no idea Bonku took this photo. It's from the day I moved out. You know he got me a bike for my birthday once? It was this horrible old thing he found who knows where. But I loved that bike. First time I rode it was in here. I knocked over a desk and two lamps. Fig, what if he won't listen to me? Take a look at this place, Anne. You're his whole life. You just need to remind him. This door is Bonku's private study. I was never allowed in there. I was never allowed in here. This is the place closest to the ether. Bonku went in here when he wanted to think and be alone. All these stories from the ether gathered in the same room. This must be the closest thing to the human world you can get without actually being there. Why didn't he let you in here? He never told me. This is the way to the atrium. It won't move. We have to shut down the security systems before we can go up. The door to the security room is in here somewhere. Here we are. You 
can shut off all the tower security systems from here. Depleters, gate controls, mirrors, you name it. Let's get to it. There's a bunch of switches. I'll take the one up there. for Bulb to blow the wall. Let's hope we won't. I can't drag this out any longer. Let's go. Change anything. Do you think you know? Hang on, I'm on my way. advantage of others. <laughs> Such naive honesty. I told you. 
I know how you think and feel me. I've been following your journey. Every time you've stood by a mirror, I've seen you. I've heard you. I've heard you. Lend me your eyes, tick tock. Look at this. Let's try to match your words with your actions, shall we? You just told me moments before. I can't distill you, Tink. There must be another way. From time to time, you act with compassion. Mr. Fig, as many call him, often hangs out at a bar downtown called Scrappers. You know, where they record Realm Radio. The old theater? Yeah, the entrance is in there. Here, take this ticket. You could. I've always helped those in need. You know that a helping hand goes a long way. What do you think about that? I guess we could live with that, as long as it's temporary. It's settled. Change the angle from here, please. And when he comes down, you let him leave quietly. Deal. Agreed. I must admit, you surprised me, yeah? I've asked you before. Now tell me truthfully. What if I refused to let you speak to the Master? Would you distill me? No. I would never distill you, Tink. Why? Of course you would distill me. You're still manipulating everyone around! Tick-tock, interesting! You almost have me persuaded. I will never, never let you master the master. Not while Anima is still in my soul! Do your worst! both. I didn't want to do this. I'm sorry, Anne. There was no other way. Come on. We need to move on. Who is behind that gate? You're ready, Anne. Look, no matter what happens up there, I'll always be your friend. I will always be yours. See you around, Anne. What? 
What's that? That must be the cornerstone. Banku carved the Arca out of it. The caretaker spirit told me that Banku stole it. It seems to power the ether bridge. This is it. The ether bridge. This is what Banku's been working on all these years. Banku, give it up. Fig, let me do the talking. What a nuisance. You finally came. And you brought company. I thought you had the decency to come alone. You want my Arca, don't you? That's why you left me. I never left you. I'm here to beg you to stop the war against the Forgotlings. And to shut down the Aether Bridge. This is not war. It's the finish line. You expect me to throw everything away? Now? We could start over. Forget all this fighting and distilling. We could find each other again. We don't belong here. This is a land of forgotten things. Look around you. We're forgotten too. I've accepted that. It's time you did the same. What about your mother, Anne? Don't you want to see her? Let us return to the ether and find the answers together. You and I. You can't force people to remember you! With you and your Arca here, we just need to turn on the Aether Bridge and walk through it. That is all. Nothing more. This is what we've always wanted. It's what you've always wanted! Please, don't turn it on! We cannot stop now, Anne. Baku, please don't turn it on! Think of all the Forgotlings! They're just like you and me! No need to worry, Anne, dear. In a matter of minutes, our new life begins. up there. The oceans, the forests, everything you have always wanted to see. Will you give all that up for silly cartoon characters? Our own kin awaits us. And we can finally go home. You and I. Would you leave without me? And I... <laughs> you! How did you get through the... This has gone on long enough. Give me your Arca! No! Wait! Stay back! If you come any closer, I will distill you! I don't care anymore! Stand back! Get away! Now, 
The time has come for you to make a choice. You can go with Bonku and leave this land behind. It will undo everything you have come to know about this place and everyone here. Or you can return the Arca to the Cornerstone, returning our land to the way it was before your arrival. And you will crystallize. Why can't Bonku see a light here? When you look in different directions, you will never share the same view. He is anchored in the past. You have two choices, Anne. You can use the power of the Arca to fuel the Ether Bridge. That will open a tunnel to the human world. And you can leave with Bonku. Or you can use the Arca to restore the Cornerstone and our land. If you stay here, you will crystallize. If you go, everything here will cease to exist. to go. No! Wait! Please! <laughs> Will you help me get over to Punk? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have showed you the plant. I should have never have contacted you. I should have done this alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could never have done this alone. <laughs> right about that. Big. I'm glad I met you. Goodbye. Everyone came. We carried your crystal down from the tower. Many still don't understand what happened. Some even think we're still going back to the ether. I miss you, Anne. So much that my joints hurt. I guess that's the cost of remembering. It hurts that only your memory is with us. But I would rather have it that way than to never have known you. Forever your friend, Vic. seen you in ages. What are you doing here? Oh, just reminiscing about old times. What have you been up to? Helping out with the renovations. But what are you doing now? Well, actually, it's supposed to be a surprise, but I guess I can reveal it now. We're so close to opening anyway. Opening what? What is it? We've rebuilt the sanctuary. It's gonna be a library. We've moved all the books from the tower there. That sounds amazing! Big. Oh, T Tiffany, right? 
Uh, sorry, our last meeting really wasn't... <laughs> no need to mention that. Times have changed. What are you doing now? I'm conducting tours of the tower grounds. Many forgotlings have never seen them, you know? That sounds interesting. Someone has to pass on the knowledge, right? I might show up one day. Please do. I'd be happy to tell you all the stories. What are you doing? We've rebuilt the sanctuary into a library. Oh, that's a fantastic idea, Fig. I must find the time to see that very soon. Oh, sorry. I have to go. I've got a tour crowd waiting for me at the central station. It was nice to see you again, Fig. You too, Tiffany. I beg your pardon, but aren't you Mr. Fig? Yes, I am. Hi, how are you? It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I was a big fan of your work. Well, thank you. It didn't really pan out the way I imagined. It never does, does it? I'm sorry, I'm keeping you. No, no, not at all. Were you ever at the sanctuary? I don't remember...